Hello again, Pokemon fans! I am Jeff of the Game Capital, and today we're opening a full booster case of Pokemon Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. I unboxed it just to make it a little easier, but uh, there's the empty case, and now here below, you can see that we've got all six booster boxes here ready to go. A little pyramid style as you probably saw in the thumbnail as well. So we'll just start with the top box that doesn't quick quite make it into frame, and we'll see how things go. Uh, main thing we're looking for right now, first and foremost, is Zara Aura GXs. Uh, we are completely out of that right now for our store, and uh, we've been getting a lot of people looking for that card. So it's the main thing we need restock-wise. Uh, if you missed, we recently had an 82-pack opening of Lost Thunder on Twitch, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Please make sure you're following on there if you aren't already. And uh, even more recently than that, we actually did a 400-pack opening of Lost Thunder, or not Lost Thunder, of Team Up. I did upload that to YouTube, though, uh, as like a replay or whatever you want to say. So at least you guys have access to it, uh, but we will do occasional openings on Twitch uh, that may not ever end up here on YouTube as well. So. If you want to see all the content we do, make sure you're also following us at twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. So, first couple packs, we'll say every card name, show every card, and then we'll kind of start blasting through it faster and faster as we go, most likely. So we got Carbink, Blitzel, Onyx, Spinarak, Poplio, and no, I didn't bother with the pack trick because it's just going to mess up my sorting here. So, Tangela, Houndoom is the rare, and then we've got an Energy. Sableye, Electro Power, and Zatu. And it'll make my life easier if the codes are shown that way. Uh, just because I have to worry about accidentally showing them because we do need to keep the codes so that we can sell those as well for our local customers and all that and uh, help recoup our initial cost basis as well. So please forgive us. Please forgive us. Papayo, Litleo, Yamask, Chansey, Skiddo. Reverse is a Vespaquen. Oh, ho, ho, first hit! What's Cephalon GX? Full art, there is. That shiny shine, that shines so bright. I always like to call it the Clown Blow Pop, is what that looks like to me. Looks like a Blow Pop who is also a clown. Elm's Lecture, always good. And anything that involves the Lost March mechanic is generally good too. I think we were actually, before our, my previous opening, I think we were actually out of Hot Bips. And I'm way too warm with this jacket on right now. Pardon me, just. One moment. All right, get that out of here. All right, because this Pokemon pack opening is serious business. It's it's a workout, let me tell you. Okay, I got to sleep. We're good. We're good. All right. Alolan Meowth, ya mask. Oh, we got another hit. Jigglypuff, Mareep. Two of my favorite Pokemon. Alolan Volpix, adorable. Reverse Morty. And Zara Aura GX in the third pack. This box is already fantastic. And again, this set, you've got Zero Aura GX, which as of the time of this recording is going for like mid 20s for the regular art. Alola Ninetales GX Fairy type is in this set. That card's been as high as 20 to $30. But Cephalon GX was like 20 at release. Uh, those two have cooled off some. This is now the best regular art GX to pull in the set. But we just got two of the three best GX of the set in the first three packs. One being a full art. That is a very hot start. No pun intended with the fire type and me being warm to off my jacket there. That is awesome. That is awesome. I, I, I think we're done here. I, I think we're done here. We, we got what we came for. We're out. We're out. It's done. Now, nah, we'll, we'll keep going. Don't worry. But now we got to see how many we can find. And if we can find a full art or rainbow wear of Zero Aura as well. But man, that is a very good start. There's a Xerneas. Prism, still something, still something. Yeah, and our uh, 400 pack opening of Team Up, check that out if you haven't already. That was a good opening, that was a good opening. I was very, very pleased with our results from those 400 packs. And those packs were like, they're basically loose packs, you could argue. Hold that thought. Hop it reverse, and full art Mina. We're getting all the hits early this time. This is nice, this is nice. Full art, another shiny shine. That shines so bright, and so much grass. 
My goodness. My goodness. So yeah, our um, our team up booster case, we got eight full arts in the entire case. Here we've got two and five packs, I think. Plus a prism, plus a regular art Zara Aura. Whew. I know. This box is gonna cool off real fast, probably, but it's off to a blazing start. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. But yeah, our 400 packs of Team Up, the newest one that we live streamed and then upload to YouTube a day or two later, they're essentially loose packs. But our pull rates and the like variety of our pulls was very good. Very good. Very derpy. Um, Sightseer Reverse, Espeon. Uh, but the weirdest thing so far about Team Up for us, I believe, I'm pretty sure, we've opened 1,056 packs of Team Up so far. 1,056 packs of Team Up. And spoiler alert, amongst those 1,056 packs, we have not pulled any of the three different possible full Art dudes. We have not pulled a full art Brox Grit. We have not pulled a full art Ingo and Emmett. We have not pulled a full art Nanu. Nanu Boo Boo, stick it in doo doo, but don't ever do that because I've said that before. Very weird. And I think the only other cards we have not pulled so far from the set is the Secret Rare Pokemon Communication and I think the Secret Rare Metal Goggles. So, there's five cards in the set we have not pulled. Two are Secret Rares, there's a nice Holland again, Adele, and uh, three of them are all three of the possible full art dudes. I mean, it's better that way than like not having pulled a full art Erica's yet, which we've actually gotten four of, although, again, spoiler, I'm gonna be referencing the four art pack opening a lot, so if you didn't see that before this one, I apologize. You may wanna pause this video and go click into that one, uh, but, yeah. We got another hit already, though. Another hit already. This is crazy. Pop the reverse and a Shuckle GX with Protective Shell and Chill Poison and Rep GX. I'm liking this box. Another Elms Lecture. Mina, Curlia. This is a good box. This is a good box. I, I, I think I, I think it's going to be all downhill from here. From here. We don't have any secret rares yet, so I mean, there, there's still stuff we can get. Still stuff we can do. Nice. Oh, it, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm seeing things, I think. Lusamine Prism. It, it, it's, and a Tapu Lele. It seems like we're getting a hit of some kind in every pack. It's it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Mina, Doug Trio, or as I call it, Hansen, and Pinsir. I like this box. So let's see. That's, that's four hits and two hollows. So the rest of these should be green codes in theory. Because you get one white code per three packs. And we've already gotten six white codes, and uh, we've got a lot of this half of the box left. But, like I said, two go go one pack. Hey yo! The rest of this half of the box should be pretty janky. Should should be bad. Jigglypuff, Pseudo Budo, Lantern. So let's kind of try to blast through it extra quick, because I, I think it's going to just be bad. I think. And once we get past this first box especially, I'll probably just kind of skip the commons entirely. Uh, unless I get a reverse Jigglypuff, I'll backtrack and see if we got the non foil Jigglypuff. Because two Jigglypuff one pack is also something I, I like to do. Like to get. Uh, another spoiler alert, we actually got two Psyduck one pack twice in our most recent 400 pack opening of Team Up. And Psyduck is my, my, my true at heart favorite Pokemon of all time. So, that was pretty special. I, I, I put those in sleeves. The first one I got, I put in a sleeve back to back. And uh, whenever we get around to actually setting cards up for PSA, I've, I'll probably PSA grade those as the first two Cyclone pack I got from that set. I, I've done that for other sets I've set aside. So, yeah. Heat Factory Prism. Animal Trace. So I was right. We had no more white codes. In quite a stack there. How many in a row is that? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. After three whites in a row. Wow. Now, I know people keep talking about like possible mapping and stuff in these boxes. I mean, it. this set up here is very streaky. So, in reverse order of that box, we had six green codes, three white codes, 
four green codes, a white, a green, two white, and a green. So like, if someone came in and bought those four packs in a row, they're very happy. If someone bought those three consecutive packs, they're very happy. If someone bought those six packs, they bumming. They bumming. They got a heat factor and that's it. That's it. So, uh, we generally try to shuffle our packs in store, uh, just so if there are patterns to be had or be found that people might know about or something, uh, they can't take advantage of it. And plus now we're putting our packs in the like little shoot things that are just single stacks so people can't like go and individually pick out packs. So we, we try to combat that. We try to make sure people can't like intentionally milk the boxes uh, as the first person to buy from a fresh box and then everyone else gets gets not good stuff. So we, we do what we can. We do what we can. Spin Rack, Nikata, all them bugs. Shedinja, bugs, Lapras. Lapras was our troll in our 82 pack opening, I think. It was actually the first rare we got, first regular rare we got in our 400 pack opening of Team Up as well, I believe. Oh! So, I got the lamb. Lambs, I, I, I collected stuffed lambs as a young little boy. I think I had like 100 stuffed lambs at one point. So, Mareep is one of my favorites as well, because it's a lamb. Jigglypuff is my second favorite overall. Did not get the two for one pack, but it did bring us a full art. Genesec GX, our third full art of the box. Not a great full art to get, but it's our third of the box, so, you know. Curious to see if one of these boxes will have no full arts as a result, because from a factory sealed case, which just was, things usually balance out in the end. One box might be off the chain, and another box might just be, be worth throwing straight into the dumpster for the most part, but. Shaman Hollow, that's solid. That's been getting bought out constantly online. I think as I was recording, this Hollow is going for like six plus dollars. It's not Jirachi awesome or amazing at this point, but it's still well above average uh, for a Hollow Rare, so. A lot of cards right now in Pokemon are just being crazy. Very crazy. Um, just lots of buyouts and lots of movement right now. As of at any price I acknowledge in this video, it's as a time of this recording. If you're watching this a week from now, a month from now, five years from now, prices are probably gonna look a little bit different. Probably gonna look a little bit different. But, oh, we'll hold that thought. Slugmurse and a Suicune GX. Not a great GX, but it's a nice looking GX. I like it, I like it. It's a, it's a nice looking card. It's a nice looking card. And we're doing well, we're doing well. We can get some lower quality pulls. We start the floor with on and everybody got zero aura. I, I can take some lower quality, lower value fodder in between as well. That's okay. That's okay. It's to be expected. For factory sealed case, we should get a little bit of just about everything. Should get a little bit of just about everything. Shine Act Reverse, Victini. And I'll always comment because people won't be seeing it. Sometimes when they open the pack, there's like some evaporation on the car, it looks like. Uh, this case was in my car and I just brought it in, so. The cards will be a little cold, so it might be a little bit evaporation or moisture. So you see something weird on the car that like vanishes before your eyes. It's just the temperature change or whatever, I think. So it's not like the cards are not authentic or anything wonky. Just, just want to say that so no one sees that and says weird things in the comments thinking they're seeing something they're not or whatever. Jump Bluff Hollow, that was very valuable before it got basically reprinted as a uh, League Pro. But still, still a good hollow to get, above average. So we got three good hollows already in this box. The Ganadel, Jumpluff, and Shaman. Um, Giratina and Meganium. I'd say those two plus these three, like those are the five hollows you're hoping to pull in this set. If you don't get a GX and you get a hollow, in some cases those hollows will be better than some of the GXs. So, and the newest couple of sets, just cause you get a hollow rare, doesn't mean you failed at all, especially Kind of circling back here, especially in Team Up. Right now, Jirachi is going for around $30. And it's constantly, constantly, constantly getting bought out on TCG Player. Like, there'll be four or five sellers. Ditto Prism, that's the Prism you want to find in this set. And one I, we might be out of right now in the store too. I'll actually get that in the sleeve, because because it, it's an important card. It's an important card. Um. So yeah, Jirachi, Multiple times in the last couple days, I've looked at the price of the Hollow Jirachi as well as the um, Build and Battle Kit Promo Jirachi, and at times there's just none on there. There's just none available. 
You, if you go to T-Street Blair and you're like, I want to buy a Drachi, you can't. That's how crazy it's been. So, and I, I'm not sure if or when we've ever seen a hollow rare Pokemon go for thirty dollars before. It's we're kind of entering new territory here. I think there, there might have been one. I'm not thinking of because I haven't like always been actively selling like I I do presently, but. I can't remember ever having a non- Hey, wait and see, Hammer Secret Rare. Just jumping right in there. Three full arts and a secret rare in the box. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty awesome. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so wait and see, Hammer Secret Rare. I don't think it's a great one to get, but secret rares are not very easy to pull. Um, our team up case, we had two secret rare trainers and two rainbow rares. So, uh, a gold trader could be roughly 100 packs, give or take. Might be vary a little bit from set to set, but ballpark, you know, it, it's not easy to pull. So it's it's never a bad pull. Might be better to get a different one at times, but yeah, I digress. But yeah, thirty dollar hollow rares are are now a thing, and I don't know if they've ever been a thing before. If you know of a hollow rare that has ever successfully sold with consistency for $30 or more online, please let me know in the comments below. And like what era that was. And like I don't mean like a reverse version of a card. There's Life Forest, getting a lot of prisms. I forget how many prisms are in this set. Or what's normal for a box, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> like Claydol from Great Encounters I think the non hollow rare of that was somewhere in the 10 to 20 range at one point. And the reverse hollow version might have been 30 bucks. But I'm talking just regular hollow rare. Just regular version, not alternate, not any anything fancy. Let's go Balian. Because I, I feel like it's never been a thing. I could be wrong. And if I am, someone please let me know. Comments below. What hollow rare? Or any hollow rare or rare or uncommon has any non foil, either hollow rare as just regular hollow or a ra regular rare or lower as a not reverse. So, like, just the the core version of the card. Has the core version of any card that wasn't an ultra rare ever sold steadily for 30 or more dollars? Because I, I think this Shirachi is just like brand new territory brand new territory. It's a new era. It's a new age. So yeah, if you're cracking packs a team up as we finish our first box, you might actually hope for hollows over GXs at times. It's that, it's that redonkulous. Redonkulous. All right, I'm just gonna get those commons out of the way. Fix my stacks a little bit. I'll get the uncommons. Now it's gonna, let's see. So. From that box, we had seven hits. Three, three regular arts, three full arts, and a secret rare. Not bad. Average box, you get six ultras, six hollows. We got one extra, and we were very rarity heavy. I mean, we had we had uh, less than half our hits there were regular arts. And we had so then five hollows, so it's still 12 white codes in the end. And we also had five prisms. How many prisms are in this set? I know us, uh, I think Selby is in the set. I'm trying to think of any other prisms that are in the set that we didn't just get. We'll, we'll see how it pans out though. I'm gonna flip these stacks upside down just so I like have like a box break type situation, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, box number two. Now, I don't know if I'll do a full recap at the end of this video or if I'll do a separate video with a uh, more in-depth recap, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Ba -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Get out the packs. And we got two Elms lectures so far. It's not like Guzma or Cynthia at its peak awesome, but I think it's the best uncommon we can hope for in this set. So kind of keeping those separate at the moment. Now let's try to start getting faster and faster. Another Cobalion. And I may not like comment on every card I pull as well, if I can find enough fluent conversations to have with, with you guys, aka myself in the here and now, because 
Because this isn't on Twitch or anything right now. This is this is me talking to two cameras, basically. So, it's sometimes hard to come up with things to talk about when I have, I have no one to bounce ideas off of. It just, whatever comes out of my head. Jigglypuff, Heat Factory Prism, Wigglytuff. Wow, two Elms Lecture already. So we already matched the first box when it comes to Elms Lectures. But we also had a Full Heart Placephalon and a Regard Zero Aura through three packs of the previous box. We have no Ultras so far. But hey, the, the, it, it's good, because that means we're not pulling things in the same order or pattern that we did in the first box. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Reverse Elm. Nice. Nice. Add that to our. Ooh! Rainbow Rare Sigilyph GX. There's the shiny shine that shines so colorfully. Colorfully doesn't roll off the ton. I, I, I think secretly is the word to go with there. I kind of bounce between the two, I think, for the rainbow rares in particular, but I think that's good. good. I need to go with secretly and not colorfully, because I, I just don't say that word very well. I mean, I don't say a lot of words very well, because I often talk too fast and slur my words, because because I think faster than I speak, and it doesn't doesn't make for a good combination. Double Meryl, oh my goodness. And a Persian. Persian. Um, I should also mention right away, uh, we are now a, an affiliate on Twitch. If you happen to have Amazon Prime, you do get one free Twitch subscription each month if you have your account connected to the account with Amazon Prime. So, if you're not already using it on somebody else, it would be awesome if you could use it on our stream and help show support and love that way. Shuckle Full Art. Shine and shine that shines so bright. It's a nice looking card. Nice and green. Nice and green. That's pretty. That's pretty. Shuckle. Uh, yeah, and also on Twitch, um, at times you can watch ads to earn bits. And you can also help show support to uh, streamers by throwing bits at the face, basically. So, yeah, those are things, those are things. Just, if anybody's looking for extra ways to show support, just extra options for you. Just throw them out there, just throw them out there. Make sure people are aware of things. What you, what you do with that information is up to you. No pressure, no requirements, obviously. Obviously. But yeah, the more people that get watching on Twitch, and subscribing and stuff like that, the more feasible will be for me to do like more frequent openings. Um, might be easier for me to, uh, more justifiable for me to like redeem more codes um, in game to unlock more cards so I can actually build current decks and not just do theme deck battles and stuff. So, yeah. If, if, if you like what we do and you want to see us do more and more awesome things, those are just extra ways you can support. Yeah, and just tune in and watching too. Also helps. Also helps. Uh, so like I said, we're a Twitch affiliate now. For us to become a Twitch partner, I think over the course of the most recent 30 days, we have to average 75 concurrent viewers. 75 concurrent viewers. Which, that, that, that sounds kind of daunting and difficult at our current level and stage. Um, usually we're like 8 to 12 viewers usually is about where we max out. Um, during our 400 pack OBF team up, I think we peaked at like 16 concurrent viewers. But I've, I also have only been streaming on Twitch for the last like two, two and a half weeks, somewhere in there. And before that I haven't done a single live stream in over two years. So it'll take some time, it'll take some time. And hopefully people will become more and more aware that we exist and more and more people will start showing up for the consistency and so I'm sure they can grow those concurrent numbers and hopefully, hopefully, in a not too distant of a day, can become a uh, Twitch partner as well. That'd be cool, that'd be cool. Never been, never been. But yeah, um, we should have a uh, subscriber emote soon featuring Phoebus. Maybe by the time this video is live, they'll be in place already, maybe. Another Ditto Prism, nice. We're getting a lot of prisms. Getting lots of prisms. Feeling feeling pretty heavy on the prisms. Not complaining. Just an observation. Just just stating what's stating what's happened. Just calling the play by play here. Alright, half of that box is done. I think we did like five minutes of the half box, so 
I would like to do these cases in like an hour. Yeah, usually it's been at least an hour and a half, but. Zebstrika and Talata GX. So we have not found the little nine tails yet. That's only one of the big three we haven't gotten in any art thus far. But we did get two of that in our 82 pack opening live stream. That's another thing. As we gain viewers and support, subscribers, etc., I need to upgrade some things. Um, like right now, our quality, our setup, etc., for live openings on Twitch, definitely not where we're about to be. Our H pack opening of Lost Thunder, I actually uploaded to YouTube for like a couple hours, and it wasn't getting any traction, and the video quality was just abysmal, so it's like, eh, no. So I, I pulled it. I made it unlisted. I think you can still find it via a Pokemon card opening playlist here on YouTube. I think. I think. But, yeah, it it was not a good representation of our typical video quality. So, I, I felt that it best to not have that be a fully public video. So, yeah. Uh, but, I want to get some like new tripods to get different angles and stuff. Um... For our fire pack opening of team up, I actually I use my cell phone as the main camera. There's a good reverse, normally a hollow air. Keep that one separate. Um, I actually like mirroring my oh no. Through um I forget the airs the app is called. Airdrop, I wanna say, maybe? Something like that. But on my computer, ooh, a, a second rainbow of the box. Wow! There's another shiny shine that shines. So secretly, secretly, wow, I, the, these, these poles, like the rarity of the poles, uh, quantity of, well, yeah, we got a full art too. So we've already gotten four full arts and three seeker rares in less than two boxes. That's hot, that's hot, that's stellar, that's stellar. Shudinja, and some stuff, and some fluff. But yeah, you can do tripod, possibly get some kind of camera that I can use that is good for live streaming that I can like connect to things and put into OPS and stuff. I don't know. I, I am a very not tech savvy person. It's it's always an adventure for me. It's always an adventure for me. So it's tricky. But yeah, I've been uh, on my computer. I'm able to pull up my fo cell phone's camera. But when I do that, like, there's no autofocus and stuff. So, like, if I want to bring a card close, be like, all right, so, like, right now, it autofocuses. I, I can read synthesis, rage relief, and all the details. I can possibly get, like, even closer, and let's see. Too close can get tricky, but if I click the screen, it probably autofocuses it better, but it uses the leaf on its head. I, I, would, I have no way of reading that text in our current live stream setup. And there is Verizon. GX. So, yeah. I, I've tried a couple different apps so far. Maybe there's one, an app that's a lot better that I can, you know, it's the one I gotta pay for, that as long as it's reasonable, I mean. If anybody has any good, strong suggestions of how to uh, get the best quality we can for live streaming pack openings using my cell phone, because that's the uh, best recording device I currently own anyway, Please let me know, or if you have any good, good quality and cost-effective options uh, that we can use for live streaming. I I'm open to suggestions. Open to suggestions. And if you just if you suggest something that I need to ultimately buy, if you've got an Amazon affiliate code or something you want to use, uh, I I'll be happy to support you that way uh, for the advice. So suggestions are welcome. Uh, and just FYI, if you do post like the actual links in the description in the comments below. I think they'll automatically get flagged and put into spam. I still check those every so often, so even if it doesn't show up, don't worry, I will likely still ultimately see the comments. And uh, if it's something I end up actually using and buying from, I'll I'll probably unmark it as spam and reply, let you know like, hey, thank you for this suggestion. I went ahead and made that purchase. We'll have it soon. Use your affiliate link if you happen to have one. Etc. Etc. So, yeah. Tapu Fini! Almost done with box number two here. We're making good time, making good time. 
I don't think I'll finish the whole case in an hour, because the first box was like 18. Well, by the time I got like the little intro and stuff done, we were starting box two about 20 minutes into the video, I think. But still for me, yeah, that's that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Because I often ramble and talk too much about the cards, arguably. So, yeah. We're at 30 minutes now, two boxes in. So like, we're still on pace for uh, an hour and a half, but the first box is a bit of an outlier time-wise, so let's we'll straighten out our stacks here. So yeah, box number two, we had six hits, two rainbows, a full art, and three regular arts. None of the big three in there, but still, if you get three that are better than a regular art, that's pretty good. And this time we didn't get any of the five best hollows. Uh, but we did get a reverse Giratina in the mix, so there is that. Get those to the bottom just to like reset our pile. And prisms, we got five again. Got five again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we didn't have Thunder Mountain the first one. So there's at least seven different prisms in the set. At least, at least. Five in a box just seems like a lot though. Seems like a lot. Not complain, not complain. I can get that ditto. Ditto on a sleeve. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. And bloop, bloop. Okay. I'm gonna to throw some of these on the floor because it's piling up fast. It's piling up fast. Okay. All right, it's enough cleanup. On to box number three. Box number three. All right. I'm calling it. We're gonna get a. Hmm. I'm gonna get a full art Alola Nine Tails in this box. Full art Alola Nine Tails in this box. What pull you guys think we'll get? I'm gonna call their shot. And if you commented, I'm not gonna know that you were dit legitimately, but you, you can play a lot at home. You, you can call your shot if you're watching with someone, watch with a friend, or you know, go tell your mom or whatever. Be like, hey, I think he's gonna get this specific card in this box. Feel free, feel free. Play a lot at home. Have some fun, have some fun. Let's see who's who's the most psychic amongst us. Who's the most psychic amongst us? Cyndaquil, Meganium. There's one of the five hollows that we want to find. Elm. Yeah, we got a lot of Elms early last box, and then they puttered out. We had two of the first three or four packs, and then we got a reverse one a little bit after that, and then no more, unless I missed one. Entei. Ho oh, oh. Yo, we will hopefully find a fuller of hot of uh, zero aura. I think we got a Feeny in every box so far. I think. I think. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a full art of that guy. Hopefully get a second regular art as well. Looks like we got Sigilith. Sigilith regular art. So if you call that shot, congratulations. Congratulations. You are a winner. Of what? I don't know. Pride. Honor. Dignity. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just for fun. It's just for fun. And I have no way of proving who who actually may have guessed things right. So, you know. Yun. Morty Carbink. Shinotic. Shinotic. Shinotica. Hanukkah. Litleo. Dust Ox. Energy, Whitney, Netball, not in that order. I don't know why I went out of order, but hey, I did. It's a thing. It's a thing. Mantine, Smeargle. I think that's three white codes in a row. Not too much happening so far in this box. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Marie Purple Life Force Prism. An Electro Power Secret Rare. That's a hot pull right there, folks. That is a hot pull right there. It has held down some, but this card also had a buyout a week or so ago. This card was going for like low to mid 20s, and then there was some kind of buyout and it was listed, the cheapest on TG player was like 50, $55 range. The last I looked was back down to like, I think low 30s. I don't know what it is right this instant, but I think this is the best uh, trainer secret to pull in this set. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So that is a very nice shiny shine that shines so secretly. For the most part, like all the electric support stuff has has seen some nice surges in price. 
Nice if you are selling the cards, not so nice if you're trying to acquire the cards. So yeah, it depends on your perspective there. Depends on your perspective. So yeah. Suicune. Suicune! Two Suicune one pack! And that, other than the GX, that's the first Suicunes we've gotten in this box, in this uh, case. I do believe. I do declare. Whew! Peaky Peck Shedinja. And uh, as a reminder, uh, while we don't have our full selection online, you can find at least some of what we have to offer on thegamecapital.com. And I think I also have our eBay and or Amazon links in the description below. Um, uh, speaking of Amazon affiliate links earlier, I do have an affiliate link as well for Amazon. So if you ever need anything from Amazon, it doesn't matter if it's something we're selling or, it doesn't matter. You could be buying a pack of socks. It doesn't matter. If you use our affiliate link in the description box below, it costs you nothing. We would get a little, little piece of whatever Amazon's fees and stuff would otherwise be that they collect. It doesn't affect what you pay, but it helps support us as well uh, without taking any money out of your pocket that you weren't already gonna spend. So, um, I I do that too. Like, whenever I'm buying something on Amazon, I try to find someone on YouTube that I like and wanna support. And I try to find their affiliate link and use that to hopefully give them a bit of a kickback as well. Cause I mean, a Amazon, Amazon has a lot of money of their own. So if you can use, whether it's our affiliate link or somebody else's affiliate link that you like, you might as well use someone's affiliate link to get some of Amazon's money into somebody else's pocket that you want to support. Might as well, might as well. Oh, I thought, thought we had the nine tails. We got Mimikyu GX, the other fairy type GX of the set. And some trainers. Just like that, we're halfway through this box. We're plowing through now, flying through now. So three ultras so far, no full arch just yet. Which means I, I, still, got, I still got a chance of calling my shot with that full art Alolan nine tails. Let's do, ooh, do I got two more reaps one pack? I do not, I do not. Espionage. Faba. I was just want to like draw that name. I feel like I'm supposed to. Faba. Naganadel reverse. Nice, nice, nice. And Kafagrigus. That's a tricky one. I'm, I'm pretty sure for the anime that's how you say it is. Kafagrigus. I just thought it was like Kafagrigus or. There's, there's a lot of syllables in that pretty long Pokemon name, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Like for. for the, 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 the. I can't announce you to pronounce things as I'm trying to explain how to pronounce something. I believe the correct pronunciation, pronunciation, one of the two, is Copacrigus. Morty Full Art. So there, that reduces our chance of finding the Nine Tails in this box. But still, it's another Full Art. And I feel like we might find a box in this case that has no Full Arts, because we've gotten, you know, extra Full Arts in the first box, so. That's actually a card I like, didn't realize was a thing until a few weeks ago. I was looking at the cards we had in our display case, like, oh, Full Art Morty. I, I don't remember that being a card, but it it clearly is. Another Ditto Prism, wow, nice. It's our third of the case already. Loving it. ba da ba ba, -ba. Dark Dragonite. Anybody else out there know that reference by chance? That reference is probably not known by very many. Probably not known by anybody who's actually watching these opening videos. But that was a thing uh, when I was in college, like 2004, 2005. And that's that's from uh, the website YTMND. You're the man now, dog. It's actually a reference from a page that I believe three-time world champion created. The three-time Pokemon World Champion created. So like, I can think of a small handful of people that probably know that reference, but I don't think those people will be watching this video. But I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, I digress. Well, still staying on that though, that, that's still something, obviously I still reference that. I, I do that in everyday life, like, I'll do that randomly at home and then my wife now knows to answer with Dark Dragonite. So, it's something I still remember, you know, 15 years later now. 
Oh, I'm so old. I'm so old! <laughs> it's already as prism. Yeah, for those that uh, don't know my age, it's 33. I'm a young, hip 33. I've been playing Pokemon since roughly uh, when Jungle came out. I, 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 was, I wasn't quick on it right away, so I, I never had a chance to buy it at a store, a first edition pack, a base set, but we, we started, my mom started buying base set for me uh, before we found any jungle. I think jungle was out, but it was selling out before we could get to it, basically. Bruxus Reverse and Blacephalon GX, regular art. There's that Clown Blow Pop GX. Some of the, the Ultra Beasts are just so wonky. They're so wonky. Some people love them, some people hate them. They're different. They're different. We'll, we'll give them that much. We'll give them that much. All right, can we find that full art nine tails? Can we do it? Cofagrigus, Raikou, Heracas. Ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Lantern, White Kiram for the first time of the case. Counter game. What can we find? Blitzall. It's a blitz. A hike. Anybody watching the AAFL? I, I've read up on. I haven't actually actually gotten to watch any of the games on TV yet. But anybody been checking that out? I, I've been waiting for the XFL to come back and see how that plays out. But uh, the fact that there's another different football league out, the AAFL, that started this year, a year ahead of the XFL, and I think they'll like overlap their seasons next year. Don't know how they'll all play out. Don't know how they'll all play out, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Competition in most things in life are, are good. It helps create a balance or everything. When there's monopolies, it's not great. It's not great because then the consumers get screwed. <laughs> but yeah. So whether you love the NFL, hate the NFL, love football, hate football, it, it should be it should be a good thing. A good thing that there are new football leagues that now exist and are forming, are on the way, etc. So, it, like if they do well enough, I could foresee like, maybe the XFL and AAFL will merge after a couple seasons. Cause maybe combined, they'll pull strong enough numbers that they can, you know, survive, but if they're both at the same time, like I don't know if I don't think in both get strong enough numbers to to do strong enough things, but time will tell. Time will tell. So let's see that box. Didn't didn't call our shot. We got four regular arts, a full art, and an awesome secret rare electro power. Very nice. On the hollow front should be six. Yep, with one good one, meganium. Meganium's. A good one to get. Got to reverse Naganadel as like an extra, as a kicker. Do we get five prisms again? Oh, we're down to four prisms. Down to four prisms. But we got Ditto in all three boxes so far, so. I like it. I like it. And I think I only got one Elm that box. Unless I missed one. So yeah, we're up to one, two, three, four, five regular Elms and one reverse Elm. All right, box number four. Box number four. So we're 44 minutes in, so if you just double that time, we're basically hour and a half pace. I'd still be okay with that. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do an hour at this point, but five minutes a box is kind of crazy. I did do some like speed box openings when I had, for like a month, I did Pokemon box daily on Pokemon, on the Poke Capital, excuse me. So, I think by like record time, like 528 I wanna say. I don't know if I broke five minutes. I don't think I did. Although I think for that, I think I was showing and saying every card name too. And I did that real fast. Not your power reverse and a jump fluff. Nice, nice. But yeah, we can we can try to be faster. Try to be faster while trying to continue to come up with things to talk about. Selby Prism. Hopefully I'm keeping things in frame of the camera well enough. I don't know if I'm keeping them centered very well, but 
Hopefully, uh, there's not like big glares. That Giratina, that, that's good, that's solid. Giratina! Oh! Oh, baby! Number, number two! Xenoaura GX number two. Regular art again, but I don't care. I don't care. We just need all of them Xeraoras. What's up, big cat? I think I call this a cat, right? Right? I hope. Sure. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Man, that card a couple weeks ago was like $12, and now it's like $25. We had like two or three or four in the store, and we sold them for $12, and people still were asking for them, and it's like, and we looked it up like, oh, I think it was up to like 18 or 20 at that point. It's like, oh, well, they got a deal. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. That's why it's tricky sounds for like a store like ours. Naganadel, three good hollows. Three of the five good hollows already in this box, and the Zera Aura. We're getting all the quality now. Maybe this box will have the full art nine tails. Because so far, every hit is a quality hit. Every hit. And a reverse Meganium. Nice. That's one of the other five that are normally hollow that we didn't get yet in the box. So yeah, that and Shaman. So if we find a Shaman hollow or Meganium hollow. Ah, there we go. Alone the nine tails full art. I was just a box off. I was just one box off. Not too bad. Not too bad. This is a good box. This is a good box. This is gonna give our other boxes a good run for their money. Alolan Ninetales GX. Beautiful! Beautiful! And so we haven't gotten one yet. Decent chance we get a regular art Ninetales in this box as well. It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. And now just FYI, I, I think I just saw something pop up on my phone camera. Um, our max file size for each video on my phone is like two gigabytes or whatever. It happens around the 46 minute mark. I think it happened a few seconds ago. And when that happens, like the audio continues, but the image goes away for a second. So if you notice in my lawn videos like this one, there might be like a split second, maybe a half second to a second, I think at most, um, where there might be talking, but this screen is black and just not there. It's just, it's just the best I can do to piece, piece it together. And like, it makes the, the face cam and the pack cam off sync. So I have to like, it, it's tricky. It's hard to explain, but we make it work. I make it work one way or another, somehow. I do the best I can with my limited tech knowledge. But yeah, we, we do what we can, do what we can. But yeah, the end result, is that sometimes you end up with about a, at, I think at most a second, where the face cam is still there, but the uh, scissor, uh, the pack cam goes MIA for a, for a little bit, for a little bit. So don't freak out, don't freak out. Heat Factory and a Suicune GX. That's our third regular art Suicune in the box. And we got two Suicune one pack with a hollow rare and reverse earlier. So first half of this box is stellar, stellar. Zera Aura, Full Art Nine Tails, Regular Art Suicune, three of the best hollows. We actually got four hollows total already. No, we got five hollows already. Wow, we've already gotten eight white codes. Interesting, interesting. So either this box is gonna be amazing overall, or this half of a box is gonna be tour terrible. We'll see, we'll see. Something's gotta give. So, oh, oh, full art again. Sigileth GX. Let's go, guys and gals and everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Full art. Shine, shine. Shine so bright. I probably shouldn't do that. That's probably bad on the ears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gotta be careful if I, if I start singing songs too much, like, I don't want to get a copyright strike for just randomly singing a line of a song or something. Don't want that. Don't want that, but that can happen sometimes. It can happen sometimes. So, yeah. All right. Pack fatigue. It's trying to sit a little bit with the pace, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Even though we're not... Oh, we're, we're past halfway, but yeah. Flaffy Tapu Coco! Tapu Chicken, right in, right in. 
Tapu Chicken Nugget? No, Chicken Nugget's Torchic. Celebi Prism! Unknown Hand! Sounds creepy. Eh. Get, give me my cards. Give me my cards. Ooh, ooh, ah! What'd I tell ya? What'd I tell ya? Good chance. Good chance. Since we haven't got one yet, good chance we get the regular Art Nine Tails in this box as well. My my psychic powers are, are starting to starting to strengthen a little bit, I think. Our psychic powers are starting to strengthen. Look out. Look out. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it was psychic, or not psychic. Ralts is sometimes psychic. I, I thought we had the two. Thought we had the two and one. So close, so close. Can we get two, oh, there's one pack late, buddy. And Mareep. Yeah, can we get two Mareep? Or two Jigglypuff one pack? This set, there's two Mareeps, I think. So you can get three Mareep one pack, technically. It's possible, it's feasible. And I thought, I thought my fully charged but it looks like it's down to its last its last notch so I apologize in advance if our face cam decides to uh, terminate before the end of the video heat train for the first time get some of the howls that even exist Ooh, there's an elm it's possible I missed an elm or two it's possible that might be the first elm of the box though if I didn't miss one if I didn't miss one Dawn fun Dawn Fan. Lusamine Prism. That's the fifth prism. This might be the first box we don't get the Ditto Prism in it. I mean, I didn't think we get it in every box. Three boxes in a row is pretty good. Three boxes in a row to start. I be the first Pre Marina. I don't recognize that. Doesn't seem familiar today. Doesn't seem familiar today. Shuckle Reverse, Toxa Hex. I think this is our fastest box so far. I think. Shaman Reverse. I... No, we had a Hollow one. That's the first Reverse one. It's the first Reverse one. So we got one Reverse, one Hollow of it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on a sleeve. So we've gotten, I think, the four best. I think these are all higher value than Jump Pluff right now. So we got, we got the four. Best reverses you can get, I think. And we got an Elm, too, which might have a decent premium. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Can be weird. Sometimes they have a big premium, sometimes it's like, yeah, whatever. Dialga Hollow. Yeah, that box was solid. That box was solid. We actually only had five Ultra Rares in the box, but they were strong Ultra Rares. Zero Aura, best regular art. Regular art and full art, a little nine tails. I think the second best you can get. And then a Sigil of Full Art and a Suicune. So, that's good. <laughs> so that was five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did get 13 white codes in the box. And our first three were great. And we got the Reverse Shaman in the box, too. So even though it's the box of the fewest Ultra Rares, it, it's possibly our best box. It could be our best box. And uh, no uh, Ditto Prism either, but that was a good box. That was a good box. For a five Ultra Rare box especially, that was a dang good box. Dang good. Jolly good. Ah! That box didn't want to open for me. Not the first time I've had that issue. All right. Let's keep it going. I didn't really clear things here. Oh, well. First pack full heart, Lugia GX. Shiny shine, it shines, so bright. Let's get these commons out of the way. Boom. And I kind of want these uncommons gone too. Boom. And then a quick straightening of the reverses and the rares and the energy. Okay. Oh, and a sleeve for our good pal, Lugia. 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 All right. Phew. Yeah, that pot, oh. There's the other prism. It's he, she, them, it. The return of the Ditto Prism. So that's our fourth Ditto Prism in not, well, I don't, 
I guess you can get two in one box. We did get two Tapu Koko prisms in one box of Team Up as the only prisms, because that's only has four prisms. This set has more prisms. But yeah. But yeah. And my my pack pack pile is gonna just start coming into play here, cause just for time HC, I've you know, well, and some people do complain when they see their garbage in the screen. So let me let me tidy up a little bit. Okay, I, I I think okay, I think all the garbage is off screen. You're welcome. You're welcome. Genesect? Yep. I think it's our first regular Genesect. We got a full art one earlier. First regular art, which, which is good, because that's not one we want to get, like, extra of. Don't want extra of it. But yeah, so far, we've gotten two copies of each of the big three. We got two regular Zero Auras, we got a regular and a full art Ninetales, and we got a regular and a full art Lacephalon. If we can get any of those three in Rainbow, that'd be amazing. The Rizian GX. Um, Sceptile GX is in the set, right? I'm pretty sure Sceptile GX is in the set. We have not pulled a Sceptile GX yet. It was actually the only full art we got. Oh, I think our battery on the face cam is just about dead. So, sorry on the face cam, but uh, my mug's going away pretty quick on there. You're going to lose me pretty quick. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't use the face cam to record anything for a few days, so the battery must have drained a little bit. It showed it was full, but it wasn't truly full. So, oh well. Oh well. Oh yeah, the downside of that, I usually use the face cam as our audio. So the audio is gonna sound different uh, once the face cam is officially gone. I have to like change which audio is the active one. So, I guess uh, let me know in the comments then. Um, if you, which audio you prefer? If you prefer the audio, that was present while the face cam existed, or once the face cam actually tuckers out here, looks like it's still going. Uh, once the face cam's gone, do you prefer the audio that exists when there's no face cam? Let me know. I always think I'm up, so like, even if I have a face cam and I use the audio from the cell phone, uh, it should still match up, even though the voice isn't coming out of the mouth, if that makes sense. It should be matched up enough where, like, it's not weird, but I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. It's whatever. Kind of sad now. Kind of sad. Looks like it's still recording, though. So it, it lasts a little bit while it says the battery is dead. So that's cool. That's cool. I think there's actually a way I could, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually going to try that. I'm actually going to try that, I think. Once I see it actually die, I'm going to see... Although, I don't know where to plug it in because I'm out of plugs. Because I think I have the charger for it in the other room. And I can record with it while it's charging. Eh. I, th I think it'll be okay if we lose the face cam for a portion of this video. I'm sorry if that upsets you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sapu Lele! Sapu Lele! I don't know what that just said on the camera. Eevee, there! Yes, yes, Sceptile GX is in the set. I'm just getting more psychic. More and more psychic. Oh, battery level low. Now, now I think the face cam has left us. Yep. Now the face cam has departed. Now it has departed. Mimikyu GX full art. So yes, let me know. The audio you hear now, which is through the cell phone, do you prefer this audio, or do you prefer the audio that existed while the face cam was present? And we were using the audio from the camcorder that's being used for the face cam. Let me know. Let me know. And I guess I've used the audio from the cell phone before because I've done plenty of videos. Um, I've done plenty of videos where I don't have face cam. And thus, I'm using the audio from this bad boy right here, so. I don't think there's too much of a difference, but if anyone has a strong opinion on it and really thinks one's better than the other, let me know, and I will uh, try to lean on the preferred option as much as I can. 
And I assume, ooh, 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 top five, top five. One, two, three. Oh, to Dene. Mareep. Let's check out for the two Mareep one pack. Didn't get there, didn't get there. <sighs> Why must it elude us oh so? I mean, two Mareep one pack. Oh, another Shaman Hollow. Nice. Normally good. Let's leave that up right away. Just leaving that up right away. So we got three Shamans. Two hollow, one regular. It's about as much you know for... Oh! Macargo, too. Yep, that's our first Macargo. <laughs> I mean, these these are ones that, like... Well, Subtile, it's not expensive, but it's not bad. Uh, our first League Cup that we ever got to run, end of January, the winner of our League Cup, amongst 32 Masters, played Subtile GX, so... And that was before Team Up was legal. Keep in mind, but... Yeah, so I mean, a lot of times, like, a lot of GXs are pretty cheap, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. They're just not in, like, every deck. Like, there can be a deck that is good, serviceable, maybe it's not going to, you know, win a bunch of regionals constantly, but can pick up some wins at League Challenges and Cups here and there, and you can get cheap because not a lot of people are playing it. So, you don't always have to... Ooh! <laughs> And uh, now I wish there was a face cam. Zara Aura GX Rainbow Rare. There's the shiny shine that shines so secretly. And the lightning energy for it as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty card. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice. Nice. Nominally good. All right. What else do we want to pull? <laughs> Huh. So let's see. Dream scenario for our last like 42-ish packs. Uh, getting a a second regular art of both Ninetales and Blacephalon. That felt like two cards. This feels weird. I don't know. I'm tripping. Um, uh, Elm. No. So yeah, getting a uh, second Blacephalon regular art, a second Ninetales regular art. Would be awesome. Getting a full art of Elm's Lecture would be pretty darn awesome. And then, if we get another Seeker Rare, if we can get a Rainbow Rare of Nine Tails or Bocephalon, that'd be like, that's like the dream scenario. That would make, if nothing happens in these last four packs, that would make that last box the best box of the case, probably. If we got a Rainbow Rare of Nine Tails or Bocephalon, we got the full art Elm. And we got a regular Pacephalon and Ninetales. That'd be a pretty good box. That'd be a pretty darn tootin' good box. I must say. I must say. I say, I say, I say. Cubone, who needs a tissue. And last pack of the fifth booster box. Gives us two Jigglypuff, one pack. Oh, I thought it actually did for a second. Thought it actually did. Not quite, not quite. Garnivar! A lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of pink there in these shiny spots, but no dice, no dice. We whiff again on the two puff one pack. Oh well. Oh well. Clear the uncommons. Just one moment here. Straighten out some piles. Do a brief recap. Yeah, I don't think I'll do a case recap at the end of this video. I'm not do a case recap at all, because I'm at least sure at the end of each box what it was. So that's when we got seven hits, two full arts and a rainbow, four regular arts. That's, I think that's our first regular art Genesect and Sceptile and Macargo. First Sceptile and Macargo of the case, of any kind. Awesome rainbow rare. And we had the Shaman Hollow. So 12 white coats. So we got what we expected. Got what was expected. Those go to the bottom. Those go to the bottom. And prisms. Four, but included Ditto again. Nice. All right. Last box. I better keep it down here since there's no face cam to, to help prove I'm not not having any shenanigans happen here. I'm not pulling a, pulling a rogue box for a different case out from nowhere here. It's all, it's all for the same case. Well, granted, you don't, you guys don't know that because I didn't open the case in camera, but 
It's all for the same case. I have no reason to make that up. <laughs> all right, here we go. If we can find a full art elm, that'd be amazing. If we can find a rainbow nine tails or Bucephalon, that'd be amazing. If we can find regular art of nine tails and Bucephalon, so we get three, well, two regular arts and a full art of each, that would be awesome. Selby Prism. I think that'd be like the building blocks of the best possible box here. A, a full art zero aura is plenty possible too. Plenty possible too. If we get a four zero aura case, that would be fan fleeping. Fleeping? Fleeping. Tastic. Fan fleeping tastic. Another new word for our vocabulary here. Dedene. Espionage. Whew. Whew. Ooh, Lugia! All them Lu Is that our first regular Lugia of the case? I think we got a rainbow of that in the first box. We got full art in the previous box. That could, that could be the first regular art Lugia of the case. And in the very next pack, we get a Life Forest and a Mimikyu GX. Not the ones we're looking for, but hey, they're going to show up too. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. What you going to do? You can't, you can't avoid them all together. Try as you may. Try as you might. Wob of it. Wob, 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 wob. Uh, yeah. Uh, so again, for more of our content, Shuckle GX, for more of our content, make sure you're following us as well. Twitch.tv slash the game capital. Help show your support over there as well. Um, once we get into about the second week of March, I should... Should, 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 should be streaming almost every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And I try to start between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern. I believe will be the plan for all of those days. And additional streams ooh, are always possible. There we go. There's the Elms Lecture Full Art. We got it, folks. We got it. There's one of the dream poles. The, 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 just the Pokemon in that looks so awesome. They look so vibrant and bright. I love it. I love it. That's a good, that's a good looking full art. That's a good looking full art, boys and girls. Very nice. Very nice. Whew. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Meryl Melting. Yeah, some, some about Twitch. Um, yeah, I don't know. That threw me completely off course. But that's okay. That's okay. I hope. <laughs> oh. I have no idea. Twitch. I said the name. Twitch TV such the game capital. Oh, schedule. Yes. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Starting between 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern. I try to have my YouTube videos go live at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. What I might do for some of the streams. If I have the video go live, like while we can do premiere on YouTube and I can chat live on there, what I might do is actually watch the premiere on Twitch with the face cam and stuff and like watch the video with whoever's watching me and the video on Twitch and interact live with people that way. Cause if I can add, you know, the face cam and stuff and voice, just to make it more interactive. I don't know. Make it tricky because I talk pretty consistently in these videos. So if I'm trying to like add extra commentary, it might be tricky. Although, if I'm not if I'm not having the video go live as a premiere on YouTube, then when I I can like skip around or whatever I want on Twitch and watching it, and I can like pause to add additional thoughts. So if I'm watching watching it on Twitch with other people watching me watch it. That sounds kind of weird, but yeah. So that happens. While watching, I realize like, oh, hey, I was talking about this one thing, and then I got a good pull and didn't circle back. I can, you know, pause the video on Twitch and then finish the thought I didn't ever actually finish in this video. That kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Something to try. Something to try. 
Cause I, I did the premiere feature on YouTube for the first few videos we did on like our return here. And there's another elm. And like, I worry that that, it, it slows the video out of the gates. Because say I did a premiere for this video, that's over an hour long. And it goes live at 5 p.m. Nobody can watch it at their like leisure from start to part way and pick it up again. Like they don't have control over their viewing experience until after the premiere, I think. So until after, so 5 p.m. Central, they wouldn't have control until after 6.15 Central. Tyranta GX. Is there fuller or rainbow Tyranta on this set? Or is there only regular art? Cause we've, we haven't gotten any higher rarities of it in this case anyway. But yeah, just trying to figure out, like a lot of people are basically saying like that YouTube is dying, slowing, whatever, and Twitch is where it's at. I'm, I'm trying to do both. I don't know firsthand cause I've been out of the game for, I've basically been out of all the games, all the video content creation, but I've all those games for two years basically. So I, I don't have good information firsthand for my own data. Cause I'm not getting enough views and stuff to like make any sort of real conclusions anywhere right now, but I, I want to do all the things and hopefully they all prove advantageous and like worth the time and effort of it all. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Look at the tough, 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 tough. Like I would love to stream, you know, seven days a week, four to six hours a day, and like, have that be my quote unquote job. That'd be awesome. I would love that. Be fantastic. But like for that to be feasible, like we need to greatly up our concurrent numbers from where we currently are, like hardcore, hardcore. And I keep saying I want to be like a variety streamer, but I don't know if that's the best way to go. Like Pokemon is what I know best. And what I'm starting to learn more of now that I'm actually opening the stuff myself, again so I don't know if I should like do just Pokemon openings plus PTGO gameplay and do just Pokemon on Twitch like one of my streams I tried playing Apex Legends first time playing a game like that any kind of shooter game in 15 years since I was a freshman in college playing Halo for a year so I played very poorly as expected I thought that maybe would be like something fun for people to watch something different for me but it didn't catch on. I only did that for one one stream. But I thought some people would find it and think it was humorous and then share it and like we'd pick up viewers pretty quick or something, but it didn't happen. Didn't know what to expect, but I don't know. Like I, I wanna try some Duel Link streams potentially. I always like Tycoon games. I've Years ago I did some streams where I play Roller Coaster Tycoon and those kind of games. Um, game Developer Tycoon or Game Dev Tycoon, what, something like that. I think I played on stream, so I want to do more variety. And at some point, I also want to stream events in our store. Uh, we have a leak challenge this Thursday. I don't expect to be live streaming that, but maybe we'll figure something out and do that. Maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll have my thoughts there because we got two packs left here. And uh, can wrap it up. Can wrap it up. So here we go. Last pack, last chance for glory. Can we find any sort of art of Zeraora or Bacephalon or Nine Tails? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll let you know. It is a white code. It is a white code. So let's see. Those are the uncommons. I always get the energies back. I'm just gonna go like that and go from there. So we've got Electabuzz, Kecleon, Netball. Mareep. To Mareep on back, perhaps? Alolan Vulpix. Houndour. Poplio. Larvitar. Ralts Reverse. So the energy's the back card. It's a water energy! And the final card of this case is... A hollow. Tapu Lele. Alright, so we didn't get the dream final box. But we did get... That might be our worst box, actually. The Elm's a very good pull, but only four Ultras, no Secrets, one Full Art. So that last box might have been the worst. Five Ultras, six Hollows. So it averaged out. One of the boxes, we had 13 White Codes. This box, we had 11. 
None of the hollows are the big five. And only three prism in that box. So yeah, that last box was definitely our worst. Let me in the comments which box you thought was the best. Was it the first box that had the Zera Aura and the Full Arpocephalon? Was it the box that had the Secret Rare Electric Power? Was it the box that had the Rainbow Zera Aura? Was it the box that had the the uh, Full Art and Regular Art Nine Tails? There's some good boxes. There's some good boxes. That last box was not the best one. But there's definitely some good ones. Well, let me know what your favorite was and why. And in the comments below. And again. So, yep. Yeah, the video's over. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit thegamecapital.com, help trade support by also watching our live streams, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Try and celebrate March, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, starting around 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern, going two to three hours each night, and probably one or two other streams each week, kind of at random as well. Keep an eye on, I don't know, just what we're figuring out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here, Twitch, wherever. I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.